There is so much good stuff to watch on TV right now. There's also some not so great stuff. But my point is between Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, and other subscription services, there's a lot of content to keep us entertained. But if you're not looking to add another subscription fee or you're just looking for some more free stuff to watch, there's a ton of that too. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Caleb Dennison for Digital Trends and I cut the cord a long time ago. So I've been watching TV through various streaming services for years and it's been great. Like I mentioned before, there's tons of great shows and movies out there, plenty to binge on. But sometimes I like to go back to the channel flipping days. Sometimes I wanna watch something that isn't on any of the streaming services that I do subscribe to. And sometimes I just like to stumble on a TV show or movie I used to love and haven't seen in a long time. And that's where some of these free TV streaming services I've discovered come in. I'm honestly surprised that there are so many of them and that there's such a huge catalog of stuff to watch. And obviously, since it's free, there will be ads, but that's how live TV has always been. And I think especially now with lots of people stuck at home looking for something different to watch, or maybe just a walk down memory lane, these free TV streaming services are clutch. So let's run them down. First up is Pluto TV. Pluto is an interesting mix of live TV and on-demand stuff. You'll find familiar shows and titles along with some stuff you may never have heard of. There's a lot from Comedy Central, classic movies, outdoor shows, a bunch of MTV stuff you may have forgotten about, an entire channel that's just cops episodes, court TV, and then plenty of news channels as well. So if you're looking to just veg out or catch up on what's happening in the world, Pluto TV is great and it's free. On the on-demand side, there's a whole slew of James Bond flicks, full TV series like Hell's Kitchen, and a nice mix of movies from the high quality to the absolutely absurd. I mean, Weird Al's UHF is here, so. Next is Tubi TV. Tubi is a little like Pluto, except it has a distinctive retro appeal. I mean, third rock from the sun? ALF? Where else can you watch ALF? There are also guilty pleasure titles like Duck Dynasty and Dog the Bounty Hunter. Also, Hell's Kitchen again? Yeah, okay. Tubi also has an interesting selection of movies as well. There's some solid stuff in there like Blood Diamond, but the real theme seems to be B-list movies with what are now A-list actors. So if you like a good dose of before they were famous, Tubi is an awesome stop. Just go check it out and I think you'll know if it's right for you. Onward to Crackle. Crackle is actually owned by Sony Pictures Television, so you're gonna find tons of Sony stuff here. Interestingly, the movie Quarantine is here. Hmm. There's also some fun retro stuff here like Barney Miller, The Partridge Family, and Parker Lewis Can't Lose. I'm talking to my fellow Gen Xers here. Oh, also Forensic Files, not just for when you're stuck in a hotel room. The list of movie titles is, well, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Again, I'm not sure Crackle is necessarily going to be your style, but the app is free and so is all the content. So go have a look and see what catches your eye. You never know what you might find. Next is one of my personal favorites, Voodoo. Voodoo has evolved a lot over the years. You can still use it as a digital movie locker. So if you have Blu-rays or DVDs with digital download codes, you could store them at Voodoo. And you can still use the Voodoo app to scan discs and buy a digital version on the cheap. But these days, Voodoo is better known for offering brand new releases for rent or purchase. What a lot of folks don't know is that Voodoo offers a generous amount of free content, again, with ads. Hit the free tab and Oh, look, there's Hell's Kitchen again. What is it with Hell's Kitchen? Anyway, there's actually loads of quality stuff here and also some stuff of questionable quality, but the library is deep and definitely worth a look. In fact, of all the services on this list, Voodoo feels the most premium. IMDB TV is next on my list. And I think the fact that the movie database site also has a free streaming service may come as a surprise to many of you. Again, an eclectic mix is the theme here with Julia Roberts in Eat, Pray, Love sitting right next to Will Ferrell in Elf and then Little House on the Prairie right next to good old Bloodsport. Like I said, eclectic and surprisingly fun to explore. You'd think that would be enough, but no, there's actually more. I'm a big fan of Plex as a media server, but you don't have to have a media server to access Plex's growing library of free stuff to watch. Sometimes you just need some OG Teen Wolf or get depressed with leaving Las Vegas. There are tons of quality titles here from Raging Bull to Apocalypse Now, American Ultra to The Right Stuff. Modern to Retro, Plex has a solid selection to scroll through. Thousands of titles are on tap. My next pick is a little bit more exclusive and that's Roku TV. If you have a Roku streaming device or a Roku TV, just go to the Roku channel and have a look at all the free stuff right there. 
The catalog is constantly expanding and occasionally changing. So just don't forget it's right there. A few other things I should point out. Lots of live TV streaming services are running extended trials right now. Sling TV has a 14 day free trial. And even if you don't want to do the trial, it's opened up some free programming for those of us stuck at home. News especially could be helpful here. Fubo TV is also solid. And while they are running just a seven day free trial, I can see that service going with a longer free period. So keep an eye out for that. Also, don't forget that NBA League Pass, NFL Game Pass, MLB TV, and many other sports streaming apps that usually charge a fee are offering up their programming for free, at least for the time being. So if you're jonesing for sports, you will find it through one of those services. No matter which ends up being your favorite, I have a feeling you're gonna end up using one of these free streaming TV services, at least at some point. You'll start by browsing, but I bet you end up watching something. And as always, free is a very good price. Thanks as always for watching everybody. Leave me a comment down below. Did I miss your favorite TV streaming service or uh, have you recently discovered a TV show that you forgot about and now you can't stop watching? Let me know. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And as always, visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.